Hey, Bola Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, so my most watched minutes wise video is my 50 unexpected bolos. So I know they're longer, but you get a lot of information and you get it pretty quick. So put this on when you have a minute. If not, pause it in the middle and come back to it, but definitely stay tuned and check out all of them because this is how you're gonna learn. All right, we're gonna get started here and I'm gonna move through them pretty quick um, unless there's something that like catches my eye that I kind of want to talk about. So um, there's 50. So get get out your notepad, start taking notes. All right, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe to my channel and we're gonna get started, okay? All right, so the first one here is, I don't know, it's kind of a bolo. I don't know much about wheat pennies, but from what I understand, some of them are worth big bucks. But my question is, the person selling it did they already go through the pennies? I mean, I'm guessing the person selling this has already went through the pennies and picked out the good ones, right? They might throw in a few good ones. I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe it's legitimately just 5,000 pennies. I don't know. But would you pay 182.50 for 5,000 wheat pennies? Comment below, let me know. I'm curious. Let's see, what's it say? 5,000 coins, 34 pounds. Oh, and you do get free shipping on this. So I'm guessing they're probably putting this in a, maybe a flat rate box or something. I don't know. Anyway, moving on, just kind of interesting. Wheat pennies. All right, so this one's cool. Um, these are postcard folders. Postcard, what's a postcard folder? I don't know, but they are vintage and they're Disneyland and they had 49 bids and sold for 11050 plus shipping. I love this. This is a mid-century modern chunky, uh-oh, lucite resin hanging swag lamp rock candy retro. And it is so pretty. I kind of love it. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, it's pretty lit up and it's pretty not lit up if you're not watching and you're just listening. You should definitely check it out. Uh, this sold for 232 with 47 bids. The next one here is four vintage Disneyland brochures from the 1950s. Pretty cool. I could see somebody saving that in their like scrapbook. Sold for 111.50 with 21 bids. All right. Here's one that we talked about in my Facebook group and I never checked back to see what the auction ended for. So here is what it ended at. It is a John Deere and it's just like a stocking winter cap and it sold for 124.28 with 39 bids. John Deere is a vintage license plate topper. Crazy, not in perfect condition. Not sure why this went for so much, but it sold for 105.27 plus shipping. This is kind of cool. Watch for buggies next five miles. And it's just like a wooden road sign. <clears throat> and it is vintage. Um, 26 bids. Shipping looks like 1870 and it sold for $394. So. If you're out in an estate sale, out like in an old country farm area, look for these guys, Bolo. All right, this awesome mid-century modern clock. It's an Elgin and it's the kind that you hang on the wall and it is really neat. And it sold for 220, 30 bids plus shipping. Okay, I've talked about this one before in my Facebook group, but the Victoria's Secret Vintage Second Skin Satin it's a discontinued line. This pair does not say new with tags. Um, so I don't know. Let's see. Extremely rare pair. Not sure. It says no stains or large holes. So I don't know. Anyway, I, I personally will not sell anything that is underwear related that I think could be used. I don't care if it's vintage or not. It's just personal. Not going to do it. If they're new with tags, I will. I found some new with tags items and uh, underwear and I will sell vintage new with tags, but 
maybe I'll change my mind down the road, but so far that's how I feel about it. But then I see this, they sold them for $94, 28 bids plus shipping. Crazy. People love this uh, second skin satin. And this is not like, oh, this seller got lucky. If you search solds on these, it's crazy. Crazy money on those. This one, I love it. This is one of those unexpected, unexpected bolos. Pringles sour cream chips. Sour cream and onion fat-free chips. Sealed. Expired in 2016. I mean, who would even think to list this? I don't understand it. Let's see. I want to go in. This one's, I'm going to dig a little deeper because it's kind of funny. So it looks like they started the auction at $9.99. And it looks like there's just two bidders, two people that really wanted it. But this person, the winner had 7,602 um, feedback. So I hope they're not going to eat them. Uh -huh. um, 19 bids sold for $33. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry guys, fighting a cold. Um, and eight seventy eight shipping, so forty dollars almost for a thing of Pringles. Really, I'm selling the wrong things. All right, the next item here. Actually, let's go back. I want to say see what else they're selling. Let's see other items. I wonder if this is maybe they didn't. Maybe the person didn't pay and they relisted it. Or maybe they have another pack, but they're not getting so lucky on this pack. It has zero bids. They don't really have much. So anyway, sometimes it's fun to check out and see what sellers are selling when they sell strange things like that. This is a old antique vintage 1920s uh, beveled wall mirror. And it sold for 109.50, 38 bids plus shipping. All right, this one I like because it's Godzilla 1977. These have great comps, but this one is like damaged. I mean, the head's off, the legs are off, an arm is off, or a hand. I, yeah, no, I'm sorry, it's not a leg, it's an arm and a hand. So he's kind of a mess, and I don't know how easy they are to put back together, but this was an estate find, and the person bought it even though it was damaged. It says complete, so maybe somebody can fix it. But even being damaged, it had 26 bids and sold for $135.50. So definitely be on the lookout for that. All right. Now, these are um, police badges. And somebody mentioned the other day that they don't think that these are allowed to be listed on eBay. I have no idea, but there are a ton for sale on eBay and a ton of solds on eBay for these. But definitely do your homework and maybe call eBay before you list something like this. Um, I thought I read where somebody picked a bunch of these up at maybe an estate sale and they're afraid to sell them because um, I don't know if they heard somebody got in trouble or they had one removed. But do your research. But these sold for four twenty five, twenty seven bids, free shipping. Looks like there's some jail keys, and um, th those fit into the cell. So kind of crazy. Yeah, not sure if that's allowed or not, but people are doing it. So doesn't mean you should. All right, the next one is this Barbie wig, a GoGo Plus accessory. Looks like maybe there's a couple other things. Is that a Ken wig? That is too funny. Anyway, this sold for $139.49 with 23 bids plus shipping. Okay, so this He-Man um, Wonder Bread Mail-In from 1981, he sold for $635, guys. Whoa, 31 bids plus shipping. So I know that the My Little Pony Mail-In things sell for a lot. I did not know that they had He-Man Mail-Ins. But anyway, I don't know how you know if it's a Mail-In. Let's see. I guess maybe it's just a toy collector that knows. There's some toy collectors in um, my Facebook group. If any of you guys know, comment below, let us know. All right, so the next one is this uh, Pepsi cooler with sandwich tray. Pretty cool. Um, this sold for $234.50 with 32 bids plus shipping. 
All right, this one's neat. It's an antique brass shoe display from um, William Potter and Sons. And it says London. But how cool is that? And this sold for $365, 31 bids, and I'm showing shipping $26.62. So pretty cool bolo there. All right, this is a vintage bell um, from the 70s. It's a visor, a three snap, orange with face shield. Sold for $62. So not a huge bolo, but if you can pick it up for, you know, five, 10 bucks, you know, it's definitely something to be on the lookout for. 21 bids, $10 shipping. Okay, so here's another one that I posted in my Facebook group. And this one was a little bit confusing to me because it says cowboy girl shirts. So you get two of them. And I'm looking down here and it says size extra large, regular. So to me, it's a women's extra large. Let's see up here. No, I'm sorry. It's a men's extra large. See, it's just confusing. So it's under men's clothing. So they're saying men's extra large. If I were was this seller, I would have definitely put men's extra large in the title. There, it doesn't say men's. It doesn't have um, the size in the title. Cowboy, boy, cowgirl. When you see girl, that's going to anybody searching girl shirts. It's going to pull that up. So I think the listing could have been a lot clearer. They still sold it for $72 with 42 bids. I would have separated them and sold them separate. But again, I, I don't know. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Got measurements. I mean, the description's great. I just don't think it had a clear title. And again, that's just my opinion. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. <gasps> that's always could be, could be true. All right. So these are uh, vintage uh, 27 piece the little uh, Fisher Price uh, characters. And a lot of these are, you know, there's some like Queens it looks like and Sesame Street maybe, but these are older. Sold for $66, 21 bids plus shipping. Now this one is Holt Howard 1960 Cozy Kitten Meow Mug and Cup. I have not heard of Holt Howard. It may be a good brand. I don't know what's selling this. If it's the brand, that looks like it's got a big crack in it even. Wow. Uh, so you can see right here, this is what it looks like on the bottom. I have no idea what this is. Does anybody know what's going on with this cup? Is that like a weight or something in the bottom? Huh, it doesn't hold much. Huh, that's interesting. Never see anything like it because you can see they kind of come up in the middle. Anybody know anything about these cups and mugs? If you do, comment below. Uh, 33 bids sold for $78.99. Again, I don't know if it's because of the cats on the front or if it's a good brand, but I've never seen anything like it. So be on the lookout and search comps if you see it. Okay, so vintage Star Wars uh, weapons. You can see here, it's just kind of a mixed lot. This sold for $132.50 with 32 bids plus shipping. All right, this is a vintage antique. Ooh, is it Shuko? S-C-H-U-C-O. It's a perfume bear. All original and complete. Okay, so... The head comes off and it looks like maybe there's a perfume bottle in it. Interesting. Never seen anything like it. Who would think to take the head off the bear to check for the perfume? All right, guys, now you know what it looks like and what to look for. These pictures are a little hard to, to see. I don't, I, I don't know, not trying to see if there's, so it's a three inch, just a little three inch, uh, that's three inches it says. The little perfume holder thing. Anyway, this sold for 180.27. 26 bids, free shipping. Okay, these are magic cards and there's only five here, like literally five cards, guys. One, two, three, four, five cards. Not five packs, five cards. Sold for $61, 22 bids, plus shipping. Handcuffs, vintage police handcuffs. Eight pair, 
152.50, 44 bids. Again, I don't know if they would have done better piecing these out. I mean, right now they got about 20 bucks each for them. So I guess it just depends if they would have sold for more than 20 if they auctioned them. All right, this is an Indian handmade patchwork jacket. It's vintage. I don't know how you identify if something is handmade or not, but this went for 127, 35 bids plus shipping. All right, old vintage antique sewing thimbles. So these are pretty cool. They've got some neat designs on them. And they sold for $67, 27 bids plus shipping. All right, so this is another one I talked about in my um, Facebook group. It is a teacup, but it's a fortune telling teacup. And I think somebody in the group said that depending on where, so like a something that, uh, is it a tea leaf or uh, I don't know what it, it's not the tea bag because the tea bag's so big. Let's see if it tells down here. Oh, I can't remember what they said. I thought they said like a tea leaf or if it, after you drink your tea, wherever something is sitting in the cup, and I could be totally wrong, but I think that's what they said, that that's your fortune or something. I don't know. So you got like a little baby, like pacifier. I guess that means you're going to have a baby or something. I don't know. A skull. I guess that's probably bad. Okay. So there's numbers. So maybe there's, a guide depending on which number it lands on and you look up at the guide and it tells you what your fortune is. I don't know, kind of silly, but here's what the bottom looks like. So just a fun little bolo, but if you ever see one of those, definitely pick it up because this sold for $240.50 with 22 bids plus shipping. All right, so the Monster um, Pet uh, Handcuffs, I posted this one in my Facebook group also, and there was a big discussion. I thought they were pink because does that not look pink to you guys? So it's just the camera of whoever took the picture or however they filtered it, but these are actually orange. But these are just for the um, pet monster and they're the handcuffs only, sold for $67 with 23 bids. All right, the next one here is this vintage railroad train town and it's just 13 buildings. So people who have those big train setups, these would be buildings that they would put out on display. 34 bids sold for 189.50 um, plus $30 shipping. All right, strawberry shortcake, banana twirl. I guess banana twirl is a rare one. Um, I posted this one in my Facebook group <coughs> and a lot of the members thought that this one was going to go for a lot more. She only went for 182, uh, 39 with 39 bids and $5 shipping, which to me still seems like a lot of money for this little banana twirl girl. But I guess sometimes they go for a lot more. So be on the lookout for her. All right. So we got a pinup girl calendar. It's vintage from 1949. The pinup girl um, stuff is a lot of times it's a bolo. And it looks like it's got January. Wonder if there's if it's complete if it's got all all the months. Twenty three beds sold for one twenty eight fifty one plus shipping. All right, I have no idea what this is. Three ben I mean I know what it says, but I don't think I'd recognize it if I saw it. I wouldn't understand it. I would just think it was some sort of carving. I wouldn't know the details, but it says three vintage Chinese jade or hard stone carvings, plaques. So you can see here, there's three of them. They're really neat looking, but I want to see what the seller started this at. Um, $9.99. Wow. Okay. <coughs> I'm so sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Not good timing. <coughs> I 
Okay, so this sold for $2,247 with 55 bids. And it's called K2 Antiques as the store. So I'm guessing they had an idea that this was probably going to go for a lot. <coughs> I picked a bad day to do a video. Sorry, guys. So down here, we've got some more pictures. So pretty cool. Really neat. All right, this one's cool. It's a vintage Budweiser six pack, empty flat top beer cans, and it's still got the original packaging. But it looks like they have been, there's no, no beer in them. So you can see they're open. So pretty cool. Sold for $65, 25 bids plus shipping. <coughs> okay, so this is a, um, one of those vintage grip strength things. I think you like grab it and see how strong you are. Kind of fun. Sold for $1,300, guys. 44 bids. Oh my goodness, shipping was $100. So I'm guessing that probably is covering um, some of the insurance. But it, it's heavy steel body, super heavy cast iron base. <coughs> oh, geez. All right, these are cool. These are jewelry boxes. I think it's pronounced celluloid. Um, so there's five of them here which I only see three, so here's the other two. I think I would have put all five in the first picture. Um, anyway, $76, 21 bids plus shipping. So these are just old vintage um, jewelry boxes. Pretty cool. I'm guessing people probably collect them. The next item here is a Coca-Cola snapback. Nope, maybe it's not a snapback, is it? Yep, it's a snapback, but it looks like it might be a broken snapback. That's weird. Does that look funny to anyone else? Maybe it's just adjustable that way. Anyway, um, it's Coca-Cola from the 1980s. Strap is broken. Okay, so it is broken. The strap is broken, guys, and it still went for $209.50 with 35 bids plus shipping. All right, so this little vintage... Um, Troll, 1965, it's got the tail, so you can see here. Uh, swivel head. This guy went for $515, 35 bids plus shipping. All right, this is a vintage, I'm sorry, I would, this is antique. They have vintage, but I, 1910, postcard. And it's railroad related. It's got the one cent stamp on it. And it does have writing on it, it is used. Super cool. Sold for $97 with 66 bids, free shipping. The next one here is the Stife hand glove puppet. Um, you can see the little tag here, made in Germany. $355, 85 bids plus shipping. Very cool. Okay, so here's a set of two vintage McKee bow mixing bowls. And they're just look like two little bowls with a bow on them. And here's the, what it would say on the bottom. It looks like it says MCK is, in a, and it's in a circle if you're not watching and you're just listening. But, um, these sold for $310. It's two mixing bowls. I don't know how big they are. Um, sometimes in a, you know, pictures, it's hard to tell. Like, is it a little bowl or is it like a big mixing bowl? Let's see if it tells. Okay, they measure seven inches and eight inches in diameter. So, all right, 310 is what they sold for. 34 bids plus shipping. The next one here is this shoe shine holder set. Uh, Lady Josephine, unused and original box. Here's what's inside the box if you want to check it out. This sold for $305 with 37 bids plus shipping. Very cool. Again, guys, always, always search comps before you spend big bucks on something. If you can pick it up for a buck or two, I say grab it and take it home and do the research. Um, save you time. But if you're going to shell out 50, 60, 30, 20, 10 bucks even, look them up. Make sure they're still selling for good money. Make sure that one of these isn't just a fluky thing that somebody got lucky on. 
Like I know the canisters are not like a huge seller, but this seller got $91 for these. And it, it might just be that somebody really liked the pattern and it was what they were looking for. And there were two people bidding on it. You know, you just don't know. But um, just because you see canisters in this video selling for big money does not mean you should buy every canister you see. So always, always do your research. All right, the next one here is, it does, this does give you a great starting point. And some things are just, they're just always a bolo. So uh, this is an iron skillet. It's a Griswold, which is a good brand. And this is antique, but, what I want to show you here is look at the condition of this. I mean, it's not in good condition at all. I don't know if you can clean these things up, but this still went for $182.50 with 32 bids. So plus $22 shipping. So even if they're not in great condition, I would still get it. All right, now here's my thoughts on this. This is a pair of Gucci vintage logo printed sneakers all right i'm looking at this picture and i'm not seeing anything gucci about it check them out huh how fun is that i totally think this should have been the first picture i think they would have gotten so many more views i mean this just looks like a pair of plain sneakers this is you know this is what people are paying for so i don't know did the seller mess up by not putting the main picture with the Gucci showing? I think personally they should have, but they still sold for $461. So what do I know? 51 bids, free shipping. The next one here is this um, John Stockton 1988 Kenner starting lineup basketball little figurine. And he is currently at or I'm sorry, he sold for $306, $306, 45 bids, $10.99 shipping. I have no idea why shipping was so much. Uh, uh, the next one we have here is this 1980s boom box. I have no idea why there's a beer in front of it, maybe to show how big it is. Weird, but hey, it caught my attention. Partially works. Whatever that means. The tuner works great. The tape deck works. The doors open slowly. So it looks like it's got some issues. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have ever seen um, where you can add a video into your listing. And I'm not sure if they used the same thing, but this should take us to YouTube. And then. Nice. How fun is this? 956 views. Okay, sorry, I had to share it. All right, so anyway, if you want to know how to add a video to your. Ah! Ah, I don't know how to show up. Pause. Sorry. Okay, so. If you wanna know how to insert a video, a YouTube video into your description to show people how it works, um, how you do that is, um, I, I have a, I forget how to, I forget what it's called, but in my, um, uh, what is it called? On my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, you can go there and I have a video that tells you how to do it. So go check that out. I'll try to remember to link it below in the description and then you can just click on it down there and it'll take you right to it. I got totally sidetracked by the awesome uh, boombox music. All right, so the next one here is this, I don't know how to say this, but it's B-E-N-I-T-O-I-T-E. It's a mineral specimen and they found this at an estate sale. So a lot of times I get when I post these bolos, I would never find something like that. Where on earth would you find something like that? Who would have thought that somebody would have found this at an estate sale. Anyway, sold for $416 with 34 bids. I probably would have looked at it and been like, oh, that's a cool rock. I would not have looked at that and thought, oh my gosh, that's something that I could sell for a lot of money on eBay. 34 bids plus shipping, $416. The next one here is this vintage 1983 Cabbage Patch, still in the box. 
I, I don't know, guys, do your research on Cabbage Patches. I just sold a couple for like 30 bucks each, which I got them really, really cheap. So I was happy with that, but mine weren't in the box. But some of them are still going for good money. So 162.49 with 63 bids. And the last one here is another big one that I talked about in my Facebook group. But um, I don't know if you actually saw what this item sold for. So I thought I'd pull it up and include it. Here's um, what it says on the bottom if you guys are interested. But this only has two pictures. I would have done more pictures personally. And it ended up selling with 34 bids for $2,650 free shipping. If you go in here and look, they started the auction at $9.99. So I'm guessing that maybe the seller just really didn't know what they had. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So it's exciting when you find something you don't know what you have and you just list it and it ends up being a huge bolo. Anyway, not all Pyrex is a bolo. You can check out my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. I've got some other videos on Pyrex. Yeah, I've made some mistakes with Pyrex. But anyway, um, check out my I made a mistake with Pyrex video. And that concludes this video. That's 50, guys. So we got through 50 pretty quick. Now you know some bolos. Again, always do your research. Check comps. It's real easy to go to eBay solds when you're like, even if you're at a thrift store or a garage sale, just pull up eBay. Go to solds, don't go to actives. Go to solds, put in what you're looking at. You can even, if it has a SKU, you can put in the SKU and just kind of see what items have sold for. Again, don't look at actives because people put crazy prices on things and they never sell them. So anyway, <clears throat> one more cough. Be sure to subscribe below and thanks for watching.